Hello there. <laughs> Sorry if this video is a little bit quiet. I've been having technical issues lately, so I have to film this on my phone tonight. But I wanted to talk a little bit about covens. Covens tend to be a huge talking point amongst witches, especially people who are relatively new to witchcraft, and it can be something that can be a little bit confusing if you're not used to it. At its most basic and stripped back definition, a coven is little more than a group of witches meeting together in a predetermined location to practice witchcraft or celebrate sabbats and esbits. Now, sometimes it can entail a little bit more than that. Sometimes you can meet up for a festivity outside those things, such as a hand fasting ceremony. But for the most part, that's essentially what they are. And although most of them will follow those basic guidelines, each coven is different. There is generally a high priest or priestess, or sometimes even both, who will oversee whatever is going on at the coven's meeting, and this is where things can kind of vary depending on whose coven you're part of. I know that there's one near me. I have not attended any of their meetups yet, but I've heard mixed reviews, we'll say. There are some people who say that they're absolutely amazing, that they have a wonderful time with them, and there are other people who say that they think that the people who are the high priest and priestess are too structured in the way that they, you know, perform rituals and spells and just any of the work that happens during these coven meetings. And that's one of those things that kind of tends to chase people away from the idea of joining one. I think there's a lot of pros and cons to potentially joining a coven, and unfortunately, I can't really make that call for you. It's something you just have to kind of decide to either try or not try. I don't think there's any harm in just going out and trying one. The worst that happens is you just decide it's not really for you and you leave early, you know? Like, nothing bad will happen if you decide that you're not enjoying the coven that you're visiting that night. So it's always safe to go ahead and give it a try and make sure that if it's your first time there, you are either someone with your own car or you are with someone who has their own car so that if they're performing, say, like a ritual that you don't necessarily agree with or that, you know, you're not really getting good vibes from someone in the group or something, you have an exit point. It's highly doubtful anything like that will happen, but at the end of the day, it's a group of people <laughs> run by people. You never really know what's going on in another person's head, so it's always good to be safe. A positive to joining a coven is if you are relatively new to witchcraft, it can be a very good place to start at. If you're just looking at book after book, at spell after spell, and you just have no idea where to go with your craft yet, it can be a good idea to try, you know, even up to like three or four different covens and see if any of them speak to you, because if nothing else, you'll get some opinions and ideas from people who have been witches maybe a little bit longer than you, maybe several different kinds of witches, on how to harness or practice your craft. And you can actually practice different types of witchcraft in real time at these coven meetings. So it can be very, very good for people who are just starting out and aren't really sure what they want to do yet. That being said, it can have its negative points too. As I said, um, there can be people who are a little bit too structured. A lot of people end up attracted to witchcraft versus a more organized religion because they like how free it is. They like the fact that they can feel free to express their craft in whatever way they deem best for them. And a lot of people think that putting that much structure on it or allowing someone to oversee the group that way is kind of taking away from that. So that's something to keep in mind. Also keep in mind that depending on 
what practice the person in charge of that coven follows, you could end up potentially in a situation that you do find yourself uncomfortable in. So it's always important to reach out to the high priest or priestess of that coven first and just ask them any questions you have because if you're someone who is very modest, for example, and this is a coven that goes sky clad for all of their rituals, you're going to find yourself a little uncomfortable. If it's someone who does something involving no like blood magic or something and you're not into that you could find yourself very uncomfortable so always make sure you reach out to whoever's in charge of that group before you go ahead and attend one of the coven meetups because you don't want to accidentally end up getting shocked or scared or anything negative like that it's supposed to be a positive experience and I know this video was kind of a short one, but I wanted to just kind of give a general idea of what a coven is and give you a couple of my personal positives and negatives about joining or not joining one. I myself prefer not to be in one. I've never even attended a single meetup in a coven anywhere that I've lived before and that's not to say that I think anything's wrong with it I just like to be more solitary when I do want to do a ritual with a group I tend to just talk to Phoenix and any of my friends who happen to be pagan as well and we all just either you know get on the phone or on like FaceTime or something or if we can we meet up in person we just do it that way and that's how I prefer to do it because I like being able to practice every point of a spell or a ritual or whatever it is I'm doing in the way that I want to do it. I don't want to have to start and stop a bunch of times. I don't want to have to worry about whether or not someone else is, you know, following it correctly or not understand what's going on. I just want to be able to do it in my own pace, in my own time, and however I want to do it. So it just happens to be what works for me, but hopefully I didn't either make you too overly excited to join one or too scared to try. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's it's always a good idea to at least give it a try if you think you even might be interested, because again, it's not like anything terrible is going to happen to you. The worst happens is you decide you don't like and you just don't go back again. So. As always, do something that makes you happy today, no matter what anyone else thinks about it. Sorry about the audio quality in this video. I'll try to make it a little louder next time. Um, my charger, actually, from my computer died, and I'm not getting one until Thursday night because snail mail lately. So I appreciate you just bearing with tonight. And as always, I'll see you next time.